Throughout the month, we celebrate Black History Month with our series, Hidden History. Ten in your size, Jen Lewis spent time with a Hampton Roads dance trailblazer who, against all odds, reached the pinnacle of his profession. In the local world of dance, Elbert Watson is a bit of a legend, an icon described as a master instructor. I sat down with Mr. Watson to talk about his life and career highlights. The person I met is humble, passionate about his work, and grateful for the road he's traveled. I could always dance, actually, as a kid, but uh, as a profession, I really didn't know until I went to college. Watson grew up in the Campus Della section of Norfolk. He entered Norfolk State University as a biology major, but when he saw Alvin Ailey perform, that changed everything. Alvin Ailey, Alvin Ailey is one of the, um, one of the top modern dance pioneers of the 20th century. Alvin's premise was uh, that every culture has its blues. We all cry, we all laugh, we all have families. And uh, he liked works that celebrate the human spirit. Uh, the black, uh, his black experience was the, the palette because he says struggle is indigenous to every people. From 1973 to 1977, he danced under Alvin Ailey at the American Dance Theater in New York, became a principal dancer in his first year, and Ailey choreographed works specifically for Watson. There's a work called uh, Three Black Kings, which and Alvin was good friends with uh, Duke Ellington, and obviously this score was the last score that Duke Ellington wore before he passed away. So that was the highest honor to be um, to be selected for that. After four years with the American Dance Theater, Elbert Watson had an opportunity to dance abroad and contemporary ballet took him to Germany. When he returned to Norfolk, change was on the horizon. Suddenly I liked teaching children, which was, where did that come from? You know, suddenly I liked the whole, fact, the whole idea of uh, taking the child with nothing and seeing the response to, to, to that attention. He began the dance program at Norfolk Academy in 1984. His goal was to make dance an integral part of life at the school. Dance becomes a, a bridge for athletics, and athletics for fitness, wellness, for kinetic learning. My main thing here is just education, educating people. Elbert Watson has achieved what dancers dream of through hard work, determination, and raw talent. Now, he says he's most fulfilled serving others, his students. When they come to me, um, all of them are different, unique, you're created for a God-given purpose, and that you celebrate who you are as a person. Elbert Watson's next performance celebrates the 100th anniversary of the Attucks Theater in Norfolk. He will showcase the lives of Crispus Attucks and Sam Cooke, February 23rd at 4 p.m. For additional information, visit wavy.com. Jen Lewis, Town on Your Side.